When he was a kid, he walked 20 miles to school in the snow with no shoes, and he was grateful. Hey, what's up, my peoples? MGO here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Transformers Titans Return Deluxe Class Sergeant Cop. So here we are, and there he is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So right up top, here we have Mr. Cup in mid-decapitation. I would be grumpy too if my head wasn't attached to my body. I mean, I would totally be snarling just like that. Look, we have Flintlock and Sergeant Cup. He has a deluxe class, a class of deluxe, a class of deluxe, and a class of deluxe. Deluxe indeed. On this side of the box, we have that same image there on the bottom, just words and things. On the back of the box, you have your obligatory product shots. He does this, that, hey, look, cross sells, and you also get your bio in multiple languages if you want to read it. Hooray for languages, and that's basically it for the packaging. Also included is the collector's card with that same image there of Cup, and on the back, you have the tech specs for both Cup and Flintlock. Hooray for cards. So, moving right along, here we have a Sergeant Cop. So, here he is in his weird looking little pickup truck mode, which always looked weird to me. But hey, it's Cup, so I've come to totally accept it. And I like it, but it's still weird looking. <laughs> but <laughs> we're getting closer yeah, so we can see the details. We do have some nice gray right up front here with some yellow for the headlights. Got a nice trans clearing windshield right here, which has a, uh, a bluish tint to it, which looks quite nice. Got a nice Autobot symbol tamper graft on there. And on the side, you get some gray detailings going down the side of the vehicle mode. Back wheels right there, front wheels right there, where they should be on the front and on the back. They, they did good. They did good. They're, they're right where they're supposed to be. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> and the back here. You got some nice molded detail. Unfortunately, no paint on it, but some nice detailing there and underneath. There you go. He rolls as really things should. Hooray for rolling. And yeah, so you have that. Now, for comparison, here he is with Titans Return Hot Rod. So you can see how they look together, how they scale with one another. That. You can see he's very, uh, Cup's vehicle mode is very kind of short, just kind of stumpy. And that's, here he is with the Generations Cup that came out quite a few years ago. You can see how they look together. Oh, and here he is with G1 Cup because it's pressure. It's a cup of pressure. Yeah, there you go. He does include his Titan Master, Flintlock, which, as usual, you know, just done in the two different colored plastics here. Ah, uh, no paint whatsoever except for on the upside-down face on his back. You can see, it's actually a pretty nice face sculpt. Uh, not a whole lot of detail on the chestial region. Got the belly button screw going on there. On the legs. And articulation, as usual, you got the ball-jointed head, so you get a little bit of wiggly-waggly. The arms are on a ball joint. They can only go out that far. He can get his arms all the way up. Hooray! And the hips can move forward. They can't really move back. And the knees swing both ways. And for comparison, here he is with a Fans Project Headmaster. And here he is with a G1 Headmaster. So you can see these Titan Masters are quite, quite little. They're wee, they're wee little guys. And you have a few options for what you want to do with little Mr. Flintlock here. Uh, you can open up the cockpit right here and sit him down in the car. Now there is a little, let's see if you can see, you can see there's a little, this little, this little notch right here is made for his feet. You just kind of plug his feet in there, which is kind of hard to do. It's doable, but not easy. You kind of sit him down in there, kind of, sort of, close that up. And there you go, you can have him driving the car, although he is kind of leaning forward there, but you can have him in there driving the car if you want. And if you don't want, you do have various uh, Titan Master posts right there, so you can have him standing right there. Oops, don't push down too hard on that, because you'll start to split stuff. You can plug him on right there. Come on, man, work with me. 
Work with me, man. Work with me. There you go. You can plug them on right there. You can just hang out the back. Or you do have these angled pegs so you can sit at an angle. And there's a reason for that. And I'll show that off in a little bit. But you can have that going on. Have one on either side if you want to. And he does also include his weapons. He includes these two guns right here, which are actually quite nicely done. You can see, of course, they have the you know the gap in them to facilitate the gimmick, which, but whatever. <laughs> they're actually nice looking. They're nice looking guns from this side, anyway. They look good there, and when you turn them around, it's like gap. But you know, it is what it is. But you can take the guns, and they do tab together like that, and you can have flintlock. Manning this gun if you want. You have the two posts right there for the bottoms of his feet. You can just plug them in there and have him manning those big double cannons right there if you want to. You can store these on the vehicle mode. You do have ports on either side of the vehicle right here. You can plug them on like that if you want to. Or if you want, you can take the guns and just plug them back here onto these ports. Like so, have them stored that way, or you can turn them around, and this is where these these angled posts come into play. You can actually have Flintlock and another Titan Master, if you want, sitting here and manning each of these guns, which that's pretty cool. I dig that. I dig that. You know? <laughs> that's some high-speed chase action stuff going on right there, but that's pretty cool. You can have a Titan Master just manning each gun. I like that. I like that. So... There you go, and that's pretty much it for Cups Vehicle Mode. So let's get down to transformation, shall we? Let's just remove all this stuff, put it off to the side, and we will get right to it. So, what you want to do here is you want to come to the back, you want to take these panels and bring these down. You want to now untab these side panels right here. They tab in two places. You got two tabs right there, and slot right there, slot right there. That's how that works. So on top of that, swing that down. That will kind of soft click into place. You want to take the section here, just bring that up against that wheel like that. Then you want to take the section, bring it up on this hinge, and then bring it up on this hinge like that. And that will just sit right in here like that. And then you take this panel right here. You bring this down, and there is a tab right here that will go into that slot right there. Just tab that in, locks all that in place. And you just get your nail on this little tab right here. And flip up his foot, and you got a leg all done. Second verse, much like the first. Make sure that's down. Bring this down. Soft click that into place. Bring that up. Bring that up. Tab that in. Make sure that's in flush against the wheels. Bring this panel down. Tab that in. Flip out the foot. And there you have the legs all done. So now we will move on to the upper body. The upper body, the upper body. That's right, the upper body. Don't question my language. The upper body, anyway. So you want to take this whole assembly here, you want to bring it up, and you got the two tabs, two slots right there. That will just tab in, like so. You want to rotate this 180 out of the waist. Take this whole assembly here, and just bring that back. Then you want to take this assembly here at this hinge, and bring that back a little bit. Open up the windshield and then swing all of this up. That will kind of soft click into place. Bring the windshield down to make the chest. And then you got that done. And then with the arms, you just untab them. See that tab right there, the slot right there. So take the arm, bring it down. Take the arm, bring it down. And he's like, I have no head. I'm just... <laughs> just the way his arms end up when he's... I'm sorry, it's just anyway. <clears throat> so you just <laughs> unpeg his forearms here. You can see the peg just goes right in there. Bring the arm down, and then the hand just comes down like that. And bring the other arm down. Bring down the hand. And now he has no head. He, need, he needs a head. We'll bring in Flintlock. And just fold him in half to form the head. And plug him on. Like so, he's a little bit of a pain in the butt to get plugged in. There we go. Plug him on, and there we have Cup in his robot mode. And it's all right. <laughs> it's okay. It's it's okay. It's it's not my favorite cup. I've I've had better cups. I've had better cups, but you know it's it's decent. It's decent. 
So let's get in close here, not on his chest, but on his noggin. There's that noggin, you can see that's that grumpy, that grumpy push. He's a grumpy push. Yes, he is. You're, you're, you're a grumpy push. You're very grumpy. Anyway, it's, it's a nice head sculpt. It's cup, it's cup-ish. It's not total cup, but it's cup-ish. And you got some nice blue there for the eyes, although you can't really see his eyes too well. They're very kind of sunken in there. And again, you got some gray right here on the shoulders. You got some yellow right there. And we got some new details that reveal themselves in robot mode. You got the gray and yellow knee spikes there. The gray, a little bit of yellow there on the shins. On the back. I mean, it's a clean transformation. He has, like, no backpack whatsoever. It's a very clean transformation. He does end up with kind of thick shins, but hey, that's all right. He's been doing his calf work. He, he didn't skip calf day. That's all. He didn't skip calf day at the gym. That's all. That's all. He's working on his calves. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that at all. There you go. Now, articulation-wise, you get a little bit of wiggly, waggly, wiggly, waggly. Yeah, can't really look up. Can't really look down. Of course, you get... 360 degrees of rotation. These shoulders are on a ball joint. They can do a full 360. They can go in and out. You can also use the transformation hinge if you want. You do have a bicep swivel. You have double jointed elbows for a nice full bend right here. Nothing at the wrist except for that outward joint for transformation. He does have a waist swivel. The hips are on a ball joint. They can go forward that far, backward that far, outward. Almost the full splits. He does have a thigh swivel. He does have 90 degrees of bend there at the knee. And the feet can't really move up, but they can move down due to transformation. And there you go. Although the hips on mine are a bit loose. A tad bit on the loose side. I mean, it's not like ragdoll loose, but they're just a little looser than I would like. But that can be fixed. That can be remedied. And, of course, he can hold his guns. Give him his guns. Like that. And he can hold his weapons. You can store his weapons in robot mode if you want to. You can totally take them and you can tab them together. And you have two ports right here on his back. You can just plug them in like so. And it kind of turns into a little jetpack there. And I like that. So, you can totally have that going on if you wish. As always, your toy display it however you wish, right? Right. So, there you go. That's pretty much it for Sergeant Cup. Now for comparison, here he is with Generations Cup. So you can see how they look together. He is, he is quite brighter <laughs> than the Generations Cup. They have that. Uh, here he is with Titans Return Hot Rod. So you can see how they look together. Uh, here he is with Blur. So you can see how they look. He is a little bit taller than Blur. And here he is with his Wavemate Perceptor. As you can see how they look together. And again, about a, about a head taller than Perceptor. And here he is with G1 Cop. Rick Harsh is pressure. Cop of pressure. Oh, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Oh, look at this, look at this. Well, what do we got here? What have we got here? A cup of haters? A cup of haters? Uh, if you don't watch wrestling, you have no idea what I'm talking about right now. Anyway, <clears throat> so, moving right along. So, yeah, there you go. There you have Sergeant Cup from Titans Return. Um, you know... Like, like I said, um, he, he's not my favorite cup. I've, I've had better cups, but yeah, no, he's, he's, he's okay. He's okay. I don't know. Just something about him just doesn't totally jive with me. It just, you know, he seems a little off to me. But I mean, it's a decent figure nonetheless, but definitely not my, not my favorite of this wave. And like I said, not my, not my favorite cup. But, uh, there you go. So, there you have that. So, if you like some Titans Return figures of your own, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There will be a link in the description down below, so check that out. You can also check out my Titans Return playlist for any reviews you
you may have missed also linked in the description down below so check that out as well and i think that's it so don't forget to check out m games check out lori plan follow me on twitter all of that good stuff down in the description below and i think that's pretty much all there is to say so there is the transformers titans return deluxe class sergeant cup and this is mgo saying remember you don't stop playing because you grow old you grow old because you stop playing be geek be proud Boom in your face! <laughs> ah, there you go, Cup. Good as new. Of all the dim-witted, diode-blowing dim-wittery, you left the piece out! What? What did I forget? Though I don't know, the rest of me? Oh, did you... did, did you need that?